The Jobber 6 can make calculating hip and valley roof systems extremely fast and easy. Once the data for the common rafters has been put in the calculator using the triangle keys, solving the developed hip roof system, including jack rafters, can be performed in seconds. To illustrate, let's say we have a building that is 24 feet wide with a 2 foot overhang. The roof is on a 5 and 1 half inch pitch. That means from the center line of the ridge member to the end of the overhang is 14 feet. But to get an actual common rafter length, we need to subtract one half of the thickness of the ridge member, which gives a rafter run dimension of 13 feet, 11 and 1 quarter inches. So let's enter this as the run. Assign this as the run. Now we can enter the roof pitch of 5 and a half inches. Enter this in the pitch. To get the actual common rafter length, we press the slope key. With the basic roof data in the calculator, let's now solve the developed hip system for this roof. First, we need to go back to the pitch of the common rafters. Now, by pressing the hip key, we will get the decimal value, which is the actual developed tangent for the hip member pitch. To convert this to a fractional dimension, Press the FIS key. This is our hip pitch. To find the actual developed hip beam length, we press the invert key and then the hip key. This is the actual hip beam length. At this point, we can now solve the jack rafters. We can easily solve for all the jack rafter lengths, but first, we need to enter the rafter spacing. Let's use a two foot spacing since this probably is the most common. We set this spacing by pressing the space key. Now we need to activate the jack function by pressing the invert key and the jack key. The first dimension shown in the display is the length for the rafter on the building center line, which is the same as the common rafter's dimension. Now by pressing the plus key, we will get a length for each of the bird rafters as they get shorter framing into the hip beam. A, B. C, D, E, F, G. So those are the lengths of our jack rafters. If for any reason we need to go back to the developed hip pitch, we do this by first pressing the invert key and then the pitch key. This takes us back to the common rafter pitch. Now we can go back to the hip pitch. We may want to know the degree of the hip slope for making our end cuts. This is found by pressing the invert key and then the tangent key. This is the developed degree of the hip beam. This same hip and valley procedure can be used by detailers on steel frame roof systems for quickly solving developed work points and dimensions for all the hip members. For additional information, see pages 46 through 54 of the Jobber 6 User's Manual.